Hey, welcome to all the Storytime Read Arounds. Today we are going to read How to Win Still Christmas by Dr. Seuss. How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. So, let's get reading. How the Grinch Stole Christmas by Dr. Seuss. And also, check out a video about the life of Dr. Seuss. Okay, um, every who down Hoover likes Christmas a lot. But is there anyone who doesn't like Christmas? Like, what about the Grinch? Is he a Grinch? He is a Grinch, so is he the one who hates Christmas? Let's see here as we read. But the Grinch flew a bit more from who will did not. See, I knew the Grinch hates Christmas. The Grinch hated Christmas the whole Christmas season. Now please, Dork Slot. No one quite knows the reason. It could be that his head wasn't screwed on this way. It could be perhaps that Sue's was too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all would have been that his heart was two sizes too small. Now he hates Christmas, so look. Is he hating Christmas? Yes, he really, really hates Christmas. So out of the reason, Charles says he spent on Christmas Eve hating the food. Still down from his cave. With Sal Grinchy frown and the warm light rose below in their town, for well, he knew every who down who were beneath was busy now seeing a misty toned world. And they are hanging their stockings! He snarled with a sneer. Tomorrow is Christmas! It's practically here! They growled for the Grinch 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 and I, I must finally stop this Christmas from coming. But tomorrow, he knew what was, you know, all the hoop boys and girls were like bright and early. They left for the toys. Then all the noise, all the noise, noise, noise. That's what he hated. The noise. Noise, noise, noise. That is noisy, but that doesn't count for everything that it just means to hate Christmas. They like Christmas. He doesn't mean to, but he can't ruin theirs. It doesn't mean that he didn't stop it. It just won't be Christmas for them, but... Then who, young and old, would sit down to a feast. They feast and feast and they feast. There was feast on tea pudding, and the who will will feast with something the Grinch couldn't stand in the least. Okay, so what is going to be after their feast for breakfast? Then they do something he likes the least of all. Every who down in Whoville, the tall and the small. Together with Christmas bells ringing. They sing hand hand and who would start singing? They sing, they sing, they sing, they sing, they sing, sing, sing. And the more the Grinch fought of that who could sing, the more the Grinch fought. I must stop talking for 20, 30 years at Pop over now. I must find some way to stop this Christmas coming. But how? Hmm. I wonder how he could steal Christmas. But that would be the only reason is that he can destroy all the Christmases. But then they would have to buy a new one. But that would be too easy. And then got an idea. An awful idea. The Grinch got a wonderful, awful idea. Oh, yeah. It's going to be something that would definitely, definitely not work. Not going to work. 
Oh no. I know just what to do. I go slap in his throat. He made a quick sense like time ago. He took a little cup, put a little clunky with this gorgeous hat. I will just make things mix. Oh, I mean, is it right now? I could flip flop, but since we were scared, I was my baby smile. Did I stop the old one? No, it was simply said, if I can't find a reindeer, I'll make one instead. So he called his dog Max, and he took him with us, and he tied this horn on the top of his head. Uh oh. He is definitely going to get this big idea. We see on there that he wrote some bags for some old wooden boot sacks for a rim sack and cold sleigh, and he hitched up old Max. And the group said, Giddy up! And Trace started down toward the homes where the three with snows in their town. Uh oh, he's about to take all their presents. All the lamps were dark. Twice snow fell the air. All the hoods were getting creepy and gave out quick when they came to the first little house they stood. The stop number one, the blue cups hissed. They climbed to the roof. Empty bags in his hips. He has only a couple. He has like one, two of us. See, one, two. Only two. Yes. Then he swung down his chimney, a rather tight pit. But if Santa could do it, then so could the Grinch. He got stuck only once for a moment too. He stuck his head out of the fireplace floor. Where the little green stockings are hung in a row. He stuck it to Grinch. Well, first things to go. Uh oh. Then he swallowed his trunk with a smile of surprise. Along the whole room. And he took deadly presents. Popcorn. He got cold. Whoops, kid. Strong. Hot boy. Hot boy. Popcorn. Strong. He stuffed them all in bags. And he came to say, and he stuffed all his bags one by one up the chimney. Ooh. They swapped to their socks. He took the little skin. He took the little toy. He took the little beast. He cleaned out the icebox as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took their last one of two hats. Uh oh, he's taking everything. It's horrible. Then he stuffed all his food up the chimney of green. And now, little Grinch. I will step up the tree. Uh oh, he's going to step up the tree. I wonder how it's going to go. Step it up. The Grinch grabbed the tree and he started to suck when he heard a small sound like the cool of a dog. He turned around fast. He saw a small hole. Saying woo hoo was not more than two. The Grinch had been caught by a few little dogs. He got out of bed for a cup of cold water. He stared at the grinch. He said, head first. Why are you taking my presents to me? Sorry. Uh oh. Now he's been caught. But that's punishment because that was a cool little dog. But you know that the old grinch was so smart and so quick. He fought for light and fought it up quick. My, wait, my sweet little heart, said Grant and Cut Slide. He was light on his Christmas tree that won't light on his side. So he takes a walk to that my dear. I'll fix that book. Then, I will be back here. His friend flew the child. Then, he patted her head and got her a drink and sent her to bed. There was some roof. Which fell for cups, he went to the chimney and stuffed the tree up.
Uh-oh, now I just stuck to you. Yep. I wonder how it's going to go. Then the last thing to put the lock on their fire. Leave an update to me, so if you're a liar. On the wall, if you have enough pictures, you can focus on more. More specs for the rocking house. That's from the Eden Juice Floor for a mouse. Then he did see a face to the other roof houses. Eden crumbs too much small for the other hoot mouses. But I didn't know that these have mouses. That's weird. They don't escape. They can go into the chimney and get lost. It was quarter past on. All the hoots, they were bad. All the hoots, they were stupid. And he packed up his sweat, packed it up. The presents, the wrappings, the wrappings, the packs, and the presents for the presents, the tappings. Uh oh, he packed up everything. I was going to take them all. Three thousand feet up, up the side of Mount Trumpet, he rode with his road to top to top, two who to do, for it's going to see humming. They'll find out that no Christmas is coming. I know just what they'll do. They'll wake me up. I know just what they'll do. The mouse will sleep in a minute or two. Then the hoo's house will go all fly. Boo hoo. Uh, then I can cry. Christmas will always come. That's no eat, but the one that's sitting right here. Holy pop. I'm going to start going to the beach. I'm going to dance here. It's sound alive. So I will. And then it starts to grow. Oh, it's growing. It's not even going to start. But this sound wasn't sad. Why? This sounds how may I? It couldn't be so. Look, may I? Barely. You're going to stare down at Hoover. You're going to pop his eye. Hey, so I saw was a shocking surprise. What is it? Every who down who were torn small singing about any person at all. Can't stop Christmas from coming. It came somehow or other. It came just the same. And the good it was going to be ice cold and snow for a puzzling puppet. Could be so. Can't for a little one, can't for a toss, can't for a packs of socks or bags. Any puzzles, three hours till his puzzle is sore. Then the grinch bought some food he hadn't bought. Maybe some Christmas socks and some sore. Maybe Christmas packages a little bit more. And what happened then? Well, the Hoover would say that the grinch ugly three sizes that day. In a minute, his pot didn't feel quite so tight. He whistled with his road for the bright morning light. He brought out the toys and food for the feast. And he he himself is going to call the rose feast. The end. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I love this book. You know why? Because it's all about the Christmas spirit. I hope you enjoyed reading today. I love this book very, very much. Remember what I said at the beginning? And lots of here and to there. We are fans. So, our book was beautiful. But, remember, speak every day and say your best day of all days. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time.